Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech. What should we do? The Duchess will assassinate Selene personally. Wait for her to strike, then grab her. As you command. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. My friends, we have lost much. We have each seen a child, a lover, a friend consigned to the flames. The darkness has closed in around us, but even now there is light. We must be that light. We must lead our people safely through these troubled times. We must be their guiding star. Tonight, the war dividing us must end. My friends, we are here to witness a historic moment. A great change is coming for all of us. Isn't that right, Gaspar? I should thank you. You played your part marvelously. Both Selene and Gaspard destroyed in a single blow. The Council of Heralds will devour each other. And while they do, Corypheus will come. The demons of Adamant were not his only army. The Empire will fall, and Thedas with it. Not on my watch. That is precisely why I led you out here, Inquisitor. Your death will be the crowning jewel of my victory tonight. So good of you to attend my soiree. Wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain by this? You can't claim Selene's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. With everything I've found on Gaspard, I'm sure Briala can effectively rule the Empire. <laughs> I doubt anything in the world, let alone inside the palace, could put the rabbit in power. The testimony of the Ferelden mercenary you hired to stage a coup tonight might be enough. How much weight do you imagine the word of a cell sword carries with the court? The word of a mercenary willing to speak out against a Grand Duke? You know exactly what that's worth. We also know of the threats you issued to the Council of Heralds. You've made your point. What are your demands? Don't worry. Your Majesty, you'll find you can endure them. 
Remember who put you here, Briala. Don't worry, Inquisitor. I'm not about to forget your part in this. The Inquisition will have all the support I can raise. I promise. The Elves of Olay have a future. For the first time in centuries. If only Selene, my people will find a way to repay you. I promise you. See that you keep that promise. You have the most expansive spy network in Orle as your new best friend, Inquisitor. You have nothing to fear. But we're keeping our new Emperor waiting. Go give the nobility the good news. Lords and ladies of the court, it is done. This was not the end any of us would have chosen. But the civil war is over. We stand here as proof of the Empire's fortitude. Our enemies must learn that Ole shall not fall to treachery. We will never surrender our Empire. We shall teach them the finality of this truth with steel. With the Inquisition, we will drive the demons back into the Fade. The Maker himself could not protect them from the wrath of the Lion. Join me, and we will exact justice for Selene and all those lives the enemy has taken. Gather your soldiers, my friends. The Empire marches to war. <laughs> Here, at last, I find our absent hero, hidden away despite the efforts of all Orle to find you. The elves raise glasses in your honor while the newly crowned emperor glowers. Is quite the spectacle. There's plenty of opportunity for that later. I wanted some air. I had no wish to interrupt your breathing, only to bring news. By Imperial Decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Gaspar wishes to offer any and all aid to the one who supported his ascent to the throne. So, here I am. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Gaspar never liked my attendance at court. He wishes me as far from here as possible. Mayhap he feels the Inquisition a convenient repository for unwanted apostates. I cannot say. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you? Allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. First sign of trouble and you're out. I am not joining you. I am a liaison, advising on the throne's behalf and helping when called upon to do so. If you find that objectionable, you may indeed spurn your new ally's offer. Yet consider this, you battle a foe you scarce understand, with all Fadus hanging in the balance. You need all the help you can get, Inquisitor. I shall meet you at Skyhold.
Is everything all right? You look troubled. Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. I would have preferred the Empress alive, but the Empire remains. That's some... Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? I would love to, my lady. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations, maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor, please, may I have a word with you? Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders, but you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. You must think very well of them to suggest such a thing. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Josephine has already told you this is impossible. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Adam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. <laughs> 